Okay, my TI Inspire acting out again, so just took off my <coughs> face plate and now I'm using reputable battery. So <clears throat> I've been using this rubbing alcohol and cleaning the battery contact and sure enough it's uh, corroded. But it doesn't stop there. Um, and I use rubbing alcohol. And uh, clean this thoroughly. Okay, again, yeah, there's definitely a corrosion. <clears throat> and when I put the battery in here, you'll hear this fax machine sound right in there. So I'm going to go ahead and undo and do this one more time. Okay, so I have the uh, small Phillips. And then little <clears throat> six star hex <clears throat> right here. So yeah, it's too small. It's gotta be next one. So I have everything out. Now I need something to uh, open this back plate. This is where uh, damage occurs if you don't watch it. Complex than it is, I'll tell you this. Okay, looks like it's out. Okay, now I'll walk a little bit more here. Hmm. Yeah, last time I did this, I had. I had a trouble. Um, so okay, first of all I'm taking that out. Oh, that's why I'm in trouble. There's a couple more screws in here. That's right. Contact. So I'm gonna go ahead and use again the. Uh, uh, well, I think I'm just gonna leave just the way right there is, and then <clears throat> I'm gonna start cleaning up the circuit. So help you see all this. Okay. Uh, the reason I did take take this out, there was a reason. That's right. Uh, right in here where the battery contact is, right through here, <clears throat> I need to clean that contact too, so 
That's why I have to take these out. Very delicate. This thing is very, very delicate. So just have to be very, very careful. Okay, and then um, cut them over here. that's inside of the pan that you have to take out and that screw just came okay there we go Not along with that uh, uh, deal and then <coughs> oh and there's one more okay. Okay. six screws yeah. so not only you have to clean your circuit, but also you have to clean what's in there. Yeah, that's it. That's the part that you have to clean. And all this context here needs to be cleaned. So <clears throat> I'm going to use my rubbing alcohol. And I, you know, my, I'm using 91% rubbing alcohol, but you could use regular 78% or 80% or whatever right here that's what you have to clean out that way you really doing the thorough cleaning um, and you s yeah I see the green hint of green now um, yeah and then the other side yeah the uh, positive pole uh, also needs to be cleaned out really well. Uh, okay, there we go. <coughs> yeah, it's a very, <coughs> it takes a lot, uh, lot longer and tedious job than you might think. Um, I don't know whether I could be able to finish in a certain amount of time here. But, uh, Here's what I do. I'm cleaning. Yeah, I see the green coming out. See that? It's green. Um, all this metal running part. And now I'm using the other side. Of course, yes, the green is coming out of it on this side too. So, a slight tint of green, you uh, may not quite see that, but there is, and uh, <clears throat> it's not imagining, it is there. Um, and one more time, this time I'm going to go through general proximity, because this thing act up again with cheap old battery, um, so I'm going to use the uh, name <coughs> name recognized brand to uh, you know, work on. Use it this time for a good battery. Not the cheap old battery, but something you will find in regular, the, the you know, name brand that you're familiar with. <coughs> Excuse me for my voice, I'm going through this rough uh, uh, allergy season and it's been raining all the time so that's what happens yeah you just have to be real careful about where you're going through kind of dab it um, and yeah dab it like that and 
Yeah, I prefer after um, using this battery, sets the battery, I'm thinking of using a rechargeable one that comes with TI in Inspire and use the rechargeable battery. I think that would be the best way. Well, you know, that cost a lot of money. See that? It's a screen. Okay, let's see if this is gonna do the trick. <clears throat> so. I'm going to put this one, flip it around. Well, just gotta be very careful, gently. Um, make sure the port is aligned and everything. Yeah, it looks about right. <coughs> So I only have to remember what I did here beforehand. Um, Yeah, now I just have to put it back together. Um, hope I remember every screws where I put everything at because human error does exist. And uh, yeah. sometimes you know, kind of bad feeling when you have one screw left over or something. So, and I didn't bring my reset button, so I'm just gonna. <coughs> I just do it out and I had the reset button before Stepped off for a little bit. Yeah, the big ones go through. Yes. And then again. <clears throat>
I hope this will work. Um, this last time it worked fine, so I'm hoping it's gonna happen again the same way. Uh, yeah, just working it will uh, work out again. Um, if not, I have to take it apart again and clean it again, but however, um, yeah, it is kind of dirty. Uh, Just in case, I'm going to go ahead and clean one more time. <clears throat> okay, well... This one oh yeah, this way, duh. That's it. Well, it has to be the hex. these guys. Okay, I'm gonna put the rest of them later. I'm just gonna start, um, <coughs> see if it's gonna work. <sighs> okay, here we go. This time, good old name brand <coughs> battery, for sure. Um, cross, cross the finger, guys. Uh, hope it works, if not, well, Okay, here we go. It's, it's, re it's reloading. Oops, what happened now? Andejana. 